Ah, uh, another week, another episode of Dixie screaming at Charlie. If you remember from last episode, Dixie was caught hanging out with Griffin, her ex, after her and Noah had broken up. And Dixie says that the whole thing was a misunderstanding and they're just friends and they happen to run into each other. Griffin and I have been fine forever. I mean, the whole thing was wrapped up in like five minutes, so I don't know why they made a big deal about it or left it as a cliffhanger in the previous episode. But overall, Dixie's just not doing well. She's been miserable lately. Her mood is always negative with Noah, her career, her family. I've just been so miserable recently. A miserable person to be around. And meanwhile, we see Noah venting to his friend again about Dixie. But I'm pretty sure this is the same scene from episode two. And it's like, why did you wait five episodes to continue the same conversation? Like, what? I mean, they're even wearing the same exact clothes that they were wearing four episodes prior. Did the show just run out of content and they're like, oh, we never finished up this storyline. Let's just throw the scene in here and hope no one notices? It's tough because it's like, we're just trying to figure life out. But anyways, at this point, things have gotten much worse. We see various screenshots of Noah falling following hate accounts that are being mean to Dixie. For example, they'll tweet something mean about her and then Noah will follow them or like their tweet. And Dixie's saying this isn't a big deal to Noah, but it obviously is a big deal to her and it hurts her feelings. And I'm just like, what? Bro, if your significant other is following accounts that hate on you, run. That is the definition of a red flag. He might as well just be spreading the hate himself. How many millions of Noah and Dixie's fans are gonna see Noah being shady on TikTok and then just start sending hate to Dixie? I mean, Noah knows exactly what he's doing. And I I don't care how big of a fight they were in, this is some petty coming from Noah towards his girlfriend of two years, bro. Have some respect. But eventually, Dixie decides to meet up with Noah and she confronts him about the whole hater thing. And Noah just gives the biggest BS response, bro. Like, interact with people who aren't nice to me and I feel like... But you have to understand, I don't see that side. What? That doesn't even make any sense. He's interacting with her haters. He literally can't even form a full sentence together because he knows he messed up and Dixie is just spitting facts and shutting him down. He obviously knows that he's being petty, but he just refuses to own up to his behavior. He keeps justifying it by saying, oh, they're his fans, but like he won't acknowledge the fact that he's liking hate tweets about her. And it's like, Noah, the only reason that you have fans is because you're dating one of the most popular social media influencers in the world. Otherwise, no one would care about you. It is hard seeing those people that I care about so much come what after, the come after the real life. Oh, let me come after the real people in my life that changed? care so no i'm not changing and what do you have it she literally forgives him the next day i mean i don't want to stop hanging out with you okay dixie keep ignoring the red flags meanwhile charlie seems to be the complete opposite of dixie she's happy she's thriving she's booked and busy well kinda for some reason dixie thinks she has the right to give charlie advice about her life this is not the time where you should be dating people she tells charlie not to date people and to focus on her career and it's like what dixie can you not take your own advice you literally just got back together with your boyfriend who's been spreading rumors about you online. I've never even seen Dixie single once since the start of her career, so it's like, what kind of advice is this that you're giving? But meanwhile, Charlie's launching a skincare line, as well as doing a movie. In fact, she scored the lead role in a new horror called Homeschool. And he loves her, so... She's it. And I mean, she's honestly perfect for the part. Look at the way she walks. I can always do the thing where like you walk in a back bend. But the one thing that she needs to improve on is her ability to talk louder because it's no secret that Charlie is a quiet person. And we even get to see a scene of her acting. They started talking with a little boy across the aisle. Cause I didn't know it was against the rules. Wait, why is she kind of good? I'm low key excited for this movie, I'm not gonna lie. However, she still does have reservations about taking that leap from influencer to being an actor. I feel like a fraud and I don't enjoy feeling like that. And if you remember, Charlie is also pursuing a secret music career and is planning to release a single behind Dixie's back. But there's one issue. Her team wants her to release her first music video in July, when Dixie is planning on releasing her album in June. And Charlie is terrified. I don't think it's worth to like make anyone feel like neglected or upset about anything. And if there's one thing that you should know about Dixie D'Amelio, she is not dumb. Well, not all the time. Dixie's starting to notice that Charlie's acting sus and weird whenever music gets brought up or whenever they're just alone together. I always know when something's wrong with Charlie. She was acting so weird. I'm like, what do you, like, what is wrong? And Dixie has a plan to get to the bottom of it. 